Yo yo what is up guys welcome back to a brand new league racing video on this channel this is PSGL round 10 around Singapore and it's been a while actually since we've had a PSGL race as there were some problems with the game uh, luckily Codemasters worked very well together with all the drivers and the league involved to try and fix it uh, it was a decent issue so basically if you guys remember the incident between me and David Tunitsa in 2020 Canada race where I sent them into the moon um, the similar issue was happening where drivers couldn't see other drivers on their screen. So, uh, looks like it's fixed now. And um, recent patch came out. So, uh, just before this race, basically. We had a test race on it and everything worked fine. But now on to the standings then. We're leading by 44 points. Um, after winning the last five races, if I remember correctly. As you can see, um, the calendar on the standings are not exactly correct anymore. Um... But yeah, we're leading by 44 points. we going into Singapore. And then we've got Yusei, Imola and Bahrain left. So we're looking pretty likely at this point to win the championship, of course, uh, with that big of a margin. But it's not over until it's mathematically not possible anymore. So we've got to keep pushing and keep uh, winning, basically. Um, but yeah, today we're going to try and extend that streak um, of five race wins in a row. And this is our first Q1 session, uh, first lap in a Q1 session. You can see we've got a lap time, but that was set on the intermediates. Um, just to um, check that everything was right and working. As you can see, uh, the Williams was a little bit on my racing line, um, which is a bit annoying. Cost me a little bit of time, but it's only Q1, so we probably don't uh, need that little bit of time. Two tens up on Louis Welch. I think he did that on the mediums. Uh, the second one, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure, actually. Um, but two times up uh, at the moment with six and a half minutes to go. So in case we do mess up this lap, I still have time to go out for another lap. So Barry Berman's with a 134.330. And Nicolas Longue improves that to a 134.4.1. As we're going almost into the final sector now. Gucci Kane always a little bit tricky with traction there. The rears tend to be quite on the high end. Um, of the working range temperature wise you can see purple middle sector so that's been very solid as we're going to the last sector 135.0 from louis so we need to go around nine tenths faster than that if we want to go p1 here in this q1 session uh, not very necessary of course because all we need to do is get through into q2 on a single set of mediums and don't need to be able or don't have to set an amazing lap for that Back and stepping out a little bit in the final corner. It's at 134.364. And that will easily see us through into Q2, as you can see there. Bit of a shocker. Shanika Clay uh, out in Q1. Um, a lot of people and myself were um, a bit shocked by that. Uh, of, of course, he was fighting for the championship earlier on in the season, but just dropped away a little bit from him uh, in the middle of the season. Now, this is Q2. Um, as you can see, we're on the mediums uh, through the last sector. And I had a lot of issues also in Q1 with uh, small FPS drops and screen freezes. And I couldn't really figure out why. So this lap was not great. Q1 lap was not great either um, compared to the lap times I was doing. So I had to go out again on a set of softs. And that's just not ideal around Singapore because you just want to go into Q3 on the mediums and then start on the mediums. So... Yeah, this was not an ideal situation, not going to lie. Um, you can see a lot of people went through on mediums. And we're on the back foot now for the race already. Uh, we might have to adjust our strategy for the race. A lot of people making it on the medium, so not ideal. But as you can see there, Q3 first lap into the final corner. 34.0 from Patrick Sipos. We go three thousandths of a second behind that. Um, but we've got another brand new set of softs waiting for us. For this final Q3 session. Track position very important around here. So this quality will be important. Main people we're going to have to watch out for. Is Nicolas Longue. Brandon Lee. And Barry Boromant of course. Uh, Brandon was very fast um, in practice. Um, or at least from what I could see. But um, yeah he was just rapid around here. Um, really looks like he found back his old form. The two time F1 Esports champ. And as you can see now. Going to the next right hander. Almost one tenth up to our previous lap 
and that's solid. You know, Q1, uh, sector one is not that long, so very happy to do that first sector in purple, as you can see. Brendan Lee goes to P1 with that lap time. Matthijs van Erwen up to P3, and the times are tumbling rapidly. You see now, seven and result. We lost a bit of time to our previous run, and it's not very ideal. Into the next right, and a bit of understeer, and it definitely cost me a lot of time. One tenth up. And again, losing a little bit of time, keep slipping away from me at the moment, and out of the hairpin, we equal on our time, and currently the pole time is a 133.7, so we really, really need to get that last sector together, if we still want to have a chance to have any decent starting position. We've dropped to P7, and you can see, into the next right-hander, we equal to our delta, so we really have to get it together now, if we do not want to start. Um, down in the bottom of the top 10. Half and up to the next uh, right-hander. You can see now we're making a big time. 1.2 tens up into the final corner. This is going to be crucial to where we're going to start the race. Gained a few more thousands of a second and up to P4. And we I kind of... Mate. I got a massive screen freeze in like sector 2. And we pulled it together in the last sector a little bit. We were really fast in the first and the last sector, but... Just lost a lot of time in the second sector. I think we lost around three tenths, two, three tenths in the middle two sector. Stop so, from here on is probably the way. As can even say, yeah, two agree. stop is the way to go from here on. And there are basically multiple strategies you can do. You can do one stop, soft to medium, soft to hard as possible, medium hard as possible. You can basically do anything, but also two stop is not out of question um, in this race. So. We'll just have to wait and see how this race unfolds. Everyone outside the top 10s on hards, apart from Caraton, P14 on softs. Okay. And as you can hear Sam say there, a lot of people on the hards, and that just shows all strategies are mixed. But we are on the back foot here, starting on the softs, um, compared to the mediums. At the start of the race, basically, uh, soft and mediums are instantly similar pace, but the softs will drop off at such a high rate so we need to try and get rid of them ASAP um, or try and stretch the first end and see from there but lights are gonna be going on here Danny Bresney on the soft as well behind us it's gonna be five red lights and away we go from P4 on the grid and it's not a great start from me you can see Nicolas Longe on the medium is getting a better start than us having a little look down the inside of Jake Benham into turn one but nothing we can do um, into turn one. And basically, instantly at this point, I went into tire saving mode as we cannot um, ask anything from this soft rubber. They will instantly overheat. Um, you would just destroy them. So we have to be careful on them basically instantly. And you will see on this opening lap how careful I'm being. No sliding, not pushing on them. Um, it, it's just cruising. And you can see Brandy Bresney right behind me at this moment in time. He's probably pushing a lot harder than me. Um, but yeah, I knew there's nothing you can do. All I wanted basically was save this uh, set of tires for as long as I can and stick with the medium runners. But unfortunately for us, um, Brandon got a new set of tires by a glitch. Um, he already mentioned it straight away in Q3. Asked if... Um, we could restart, so everyone was going to get new tires, but um, they didn't. So, as you can see, Brandon is just going to pull away here. Uh, it's also just the perfect track to get a new set of tires, because the pace advantage you get from fresh tires around here is so incredibly big. And you will see that later on in the race, that the difference between staying out one lap longer is huge. Because you will get undercut massively, but also have so much of an advantage just by having one set, uh, one lap fresher tires so at the end of the first lap you can see seven tenths behind uh, Jake Benham but you can see the gap Brandon already has into turn one and Brandon was already out of uh, DRS by the end of lap three and you can see we are struggling to stay within the DRS we've got no uh, battery left and Danny Bresnay is falling off so maybe Danny pushing in that opening lap has hurt him and we have officially dropped out of the DRS now from Jake Benham and the same um, for Danny Bresney, who is going to get overtaken by Nicolas Longe. So only four laps into this race, and the softs are giving up. They're falling off a cliff already. And 
we just have to try and keep it together for a little bit longer because pitting four laps into a race I feel like is not really an option. Although Danny Bresney had um, a different Bresnay idea than me. Mediums. Copy. As you can hear Sam say, Bresney has gone to mediums. Nikos Longe overtakes me. I decided not to fight it because there's just simply no point. We just have to try and snatch a bit of DRS from him and hope he can carry us along. You can see we will get DRS here, but Tomek Prats is, al is already right with us. I'm going to decide to leave the door open, not fight it, because I just want to follow these guys around and stretch this tint a little bit longer. You can see Brandon a three second gap at this point. Um, and now moving on to the end of lap eight. It's only been three laps and we've oh, lost five seconds to Tomek. And at this point, Copy. there was no other option. And Yep. Box the softs are just not working anymore and Looking back at this I probably stayed out too long. You know, we've lost so Incredibly much time that it was probably not worth staying out at extra three laps even though we will have fresher We're tires not sure close it, How close it'll be on exit yep. um, We've lost so much time to Danny Bresne even though we will have three laps uh, lap uh, fresher tires than him I don't think laps, it's worth it yeah. um, Maybe four lap fresher tires. I'm not sure you can see Danny Bresne Getting past us already, um, and has oh, clear track right. as well. We will have clear track as well, Copy. Uh, coming out of the pits. You can see it's such a long pit stop. It's a 27 second loss. So can you imagine if you have to make an extra pit stop? That's a lot of time to make up. And that's why I kind of wanted to go for a one stop. Um, but it's three laps, three, four laps, staying out longer than Danny Bresney has cost me over 10 seconds. That's cost me 11, 12 seconds. And that's just crazy. That's half a pit stop window. Um, in 3-4 laps. It's absolutely mad how hard the tires fall off. But I kind of felt like I chose to do this one stop and I wanted to stick with it. You can see now only 4 laps later and we've gained 3 seconds. 3-4 uh, seconds actually to Danny Bresnay. Tomek Paratis has gone on to the hearts and he is going to the end of the race probably. He started on the mediums, overtook us but now we have the fr uh, better uh, tire on at the moment. I felt like the mediums was a really good race tire. So that's why I wanted to go for the mediums. And now all we have to do is save this set of tires. But at the same time, catch slowly but surely to Danny Bresney and the group he is right behind. So I'm going to keep on pushing purple sector one. We've got a fast lap of the race as well. That shows we've got good pace at the moment. And we are catching at a pretty decent race. Brendan's over 70% tire wear at the moment on his mediums. And as you can see, five laps later, we have caught up to Danny oh, Bresnay. So nine laps. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've got to qualify. In just over nine laps, we have caught Danny Bresnay by 10 seconds. And that shows how OP yep, uh, new tires are, fresher tires are. And Ben Lee has boxed for a set of hearts. And he only was able to do 18 laps on the mediums because uh, his tires were absolutely done. So. Us boxing at the end of lap 8 um, is a bit of a tricky one because we're going to have to do much more than that. We're going to have to do 23, 24 laps. As uh, Brandon has gone on to the hearts and he is only 1.4 seconds behind us. Um, now, of course, he had an advantage from uh, starting on a new set of mediums, but he was just really fast. Like, even um, without that, I think he would have probably been really close to us at this point in time. He's four seconds out of Barry Bormand, who is on the same strategy basically as him. Because he is flashing, so that gives us me a little bit of hope. I can stick with him um, until the re uh, rest of the race. But the tire advantage is so big. And you could see with me catching Danny Bresney earlier on that it's very unlikely that I will be able to stick with Brendan. I'm still going to try it, of course, because we've got that uh, battery advantage. But it's not going to be easy. Um, but I'm gonna fight for it like hell. Yeah, I think Hearts might have been the right call. And as you can even say, Hearts might have been the right call here, but still gonna keep fighting um, from here on. We still have to save tires, but the longer we can stay in the DRS from Brandon, which was not long, got only one lap later, we are out uh, of the DRS. the DRS from Brandon. And yeah, copy. even though we've only lost uh, three tenths to Barry on this lap, we did use quite a bit of battery and. Uh, we got a DRS advantage, of course, so it's not looking very good at the moment. And only three laps later, there is Bren, uh, Barry, sorry, um, but a B. <laughs> but um, there's Barry, right with us in the DRS. 
And even though he is our championship rival, there's not really any point in fighting this because Brendan has pulled a five second gap uh, in three laps and Barry has similar tires. So two laps later, it's Barry right behind us and he's gonna get DRS. And as you can see, I'm not gonna fight it. I'm just gonna let it go because there's just no point. No point. It's just gonna ruin my own race if I fight this. And Wilson is only two and a half seconds behind on a fresh set of mediums. He went hard to mediums. So it's painful, but it's also looking very unlikely I'm gonna be able to fight this. And once again, there's no point in fighting this. They are seconds per lap faster. My tires are falling off a cliff. And I'm basically losing two, three seconds per lap to Wilson at this point. I think it was three seconds per lap. Um, and yeah, what can you do? There's no point in pitting anymore because you're not going to make up 27 seconds. Um, all you can do is stay out and pray and push as hard as you can. Keep fighting. You can see the tire indicator has gone on, which is not great around Singapore. Still flashing? Yeah, still on 9%. And one and a half laps to go here. Nicolas Longe on hearts. Much fresher oh, hearts than on our mediums. And as you can hear me say, we're going to need a miracle here. We've got a lot more in rest, but our tires have completely given up at this point. And it's like driving on ice. There's no grip anymore. I cannot lean on the tires in any direction. There's no traction, no braking performance, no lateral, lateral grip. Um... So yeah, all I can do is be calm. Um, basically keep them in the right temperature window in this last sector. And then there's a few DRS zones. I somehow need to be able to stay ahead. Uh, I know I've got more ERS, but we are at this point probably two seconds per lap slower than Nicolas on this set of tires. And it's going to be really painful this last lap. Our tires are completely dead. And we've got someone on basically like 13 lap old hearts right behind us. Whereas we are on 22 lap old mediums. We've fallen completely off a cliff. We're 3 seconds slower than a lap time we've done like 22 laps ago. Um, and we've got so much less fuel. So this is not going to be easy. You can see I'm using my battery straight away to open the gap a little bit. Because the DRS is coming right here on this straight for Nicolas. I'm using all my battery available here. I'm going to go defensive because that's all we can do. And take the inside line. We're going to get the inside where ahead going into the corner. Nicolas try to somewhat stay around the outside um, and push himself into the position. So either right of corner there definitely. And... I had the right to uh, take my line there. And now there's one more DRS straight to come. And into the next left-hander. We are still going to be oh ahead. My God. I get a Idiot. big tap here. Uh, and he's pushing me around the corner. And this push put me off so much. Uh, put me out of line. I decided to keep that happen very, very tight. And he's going to get DRS here. I cover off the inside. Nicolas is going to go around the outside. And this time, he is completely next to me. So I have to give him the space, which I do. And now, it's just, he has so much more traction. I'm going to go down the inside here. And he is ahead into the corner. So I have to give way. Um, one track limit and validation there for me. Um, but he is going to finish ahead of me here. Brandon wins the race. Um, I think his first win in PSGL, so congrats to him, he did phenomenal. Uh, Barry Borman in P2, so we're going to lose points in the championship. Wilson Huge in P3, Nicolas Longue P4, oh, us in P5. Um, but uh, Nicolas Longue got a penalty. Um, there was a game bug where he got dropped um, further down than he should have, uh, because he disconnected for a brief moment in the race. But uh, he got a penalty for crossing the pit entry. Uh, so he dropped down to P6. And um, we got up to P4. So our win streak is gone. But um, damage limitation. Because I honestly I just completely ruined the strategy. I know I didn't make it into uh, Q3 on a set of mediums. Which was a little bit out of my control with the screen freezes I was getting. Uh, I know why I got the screen freezes now. Um, but still I think there was so much more I could have done to get a better race result there. I just ruined the strategy. Simple as that. 
Um, I should have boxed for a sec second set of mediums. I should have stayed out less long on that first stint um, because we lost 10 seconds in the space of like, what, three laps compared to Danny Bresne. Um, so yeah, I think I should have just boxed again for a set of mediums um, around lap 18 probably. And that way we would have maybe not won the race, but I think we would have been able to fight for P2 at least. But it is what it is. My own fault. Nothing else to blame for. I ruined it. I hope you guys still enjoyed this PSGL Round 10 video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more league racing videos. And see you guys next time. Ciao.